What's cranking, y'all? Welcome to the Bowtech Rally up here in Mammoth Cave near Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, I'm going to take you all along for this little archery shoot. This is my first archery shoot that I've signed up for. Now they, they have a lot of these archery um, rallies and competitions that pop up and you can go test your skills. You can, uh, you know, just see some of the new gear that's coming out and just fling some arrows, see what you can do, get, get a little practice in. Right now is a perfect time because we're just a few months away from uh, being out in the woods, hunting season. So maybe learn some tips, um, learn some new things on gear to take into the 2024 slash 2025 hunting season. And this course behind me right here, this is just warm up. This is warm up right here. I'm gonna fling a few arrows. The, uh, the actual rally starts tomorrow. I'm here a day early, just kind of hanging out, checking things out. Uh, and reminiscing of where I used to live. And then tomorrow, if you guys can see in the background, there are some blue, um, it looks like ski lifts. Okay, those are lifts that are gonna take us to the top of this mountain, if you wanna call it. We're gonna go up there and then the course starts. I'm shooting my Carbon 1X, uh, but I don't have a peep on it. That's how I'm running all my bows, really. But to be honest with you, I have, I don't really plan on taking any long shots. It's not really how I like to bow hunt. Um, maybe I get in a situation where I, I need to take an elk at like 50, 60 yards. At my yard, I shoot to about 50 yards. It's about as max as I can go. But there's a target back here. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know how far it is, but it's a big old block. And I just shot 47 and laced it in the juice. So I really wanna see uh, what I can get no peep out to and that's a big target, a lot of room for error. It's uh, 70 yards. So 70 yards, no peep with the Carbon One X. Let's see if uh, let's see if my skills can can hit the target. It's a giant block. It's probably uh, four feet tall. So if I miss, it's pretty bad. I really like shooting traditional, and I've just got a started hunting traditional bow as well, and that's all close. So. I, li I like that. I like hunting two eyes open feel. I like trying to focus on my form rather than just like really squinting. But it can get you in trouble when you're, when you're in weird shot positions. If your face isn't in the right position, your shoulders aren't in the right position, you got to be cognizant of that. Anyway, we're going to fling it, see if I can hit, uh, hit the red. Okay, if we're going to pretend the red spot is elk lungs probably pretty accurate seven yards it's probably the farthest shot i'll ever take no beep let's see if i can swing it okay here we go seven that's a poke We're in the red. Our left and right actually is uh, is quite good. Is is really quite good. I mean, 70 yards, you know, two out of three in an elk lung. That ain't bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good alignment um, for 70 yards, no peep. It just really makes me realize how dialed my form needs to be if I'm ever going to take a shot mm -hmm. that long, which I probably never will. My uh, my hope and dream is that an elk will come out at 15 yards and I'll just blast it hopefully with a bow that I make someday but right now I need I need every advantage I can get 
and uh, this compound I'm shooting is, is pretty nuts. Tomorrow's gonna be a real test of, uh, you know, difficult shots. See if like, all right, is, is the way that I'm shooting, does it make sense for hunting? That's what's important to me is, you know, adding the big old stabilizer and all this stuff. And, you know, I want it to be the best setup for hunting, light, capable, minimal. All those things are important to me. All right, boys, flung a few at around 50 yards, flung a couple more at 70, feeling, feeling all right. I'm glad I got to come out here uh, before it was like packed. I'd be really nervous about, you know, shooting my bow after getting off an airplane. So it was nice to just, just kind of have it to myself, shoot a little bit, but tomorrow it's gonna be packed. I hear there's gonna be hundreds uh, of people running around and it's gonna be my debut as an amateur arrow flinger on paper. My goal is to lose no more than three arrows because I really only have like nine in my hunting set and a few of those are included in here. So let's try not to lose them. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Well, I'm good, I'm here to check in. Okay, I'll need you to scan a waiver for me there. What's your last name? Rackley. Okay. So, oh, all this right. This QR is going to be for the Western course. Okay. This one is going to be for all four of the other courses. Okay, currently flying through the air with a bow. This is kind of wild. We've got a, uh, they've got this big uh, theater set up right here. They're going to be probably playing some of my, my, my videos on there. I'm sure here any second, give the folks a little fishing entertainment. Already met a fishing freak. Introducing the Suppressor Extreme, the Feather Light, fast handling compact. Well, that's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little, it's getting a little high, a little, a little sketchy for just being on a bench, wide open. Okay, I literally stopped at the highest spot, I'm just swinging here. Okay, left. Okay. There you go. Alright, it's like playing Frogger. Yeah. Yeah. The Lake Four guy. What's cracking? Howdy. Yeah. I'll just need to stand here and let it scoop me. Is that the deal? Well, you'll stand here and I'll bring it up to you. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's coming behind. Oh, it's coming down. All right, all right, all right. There we go. I'm, now I'm in. Oh, we're getting our first little look here. I've also heard there's a lot of brush, a lot of brush to shoot through. Heard a thwap over there. Love to see it. All right, we got our course picked out. We are apparently walking into some poison ivy here. We're doing the fantasy course. Got this pulled up. We're gonna score digitally. All right. To be honest with you, I don't even know how to score. Let's get a range. Looks like we got a wolf right here. Wolf or a small bear. Let's try not to lose an arrow, shall we? <clears throat> Oh, that might just be a doozy there. The other ones are a 10. Okay, so I'm an eight. Okay, anything in here is a five and then outside of that's a zero. Oh, I just lost all my arrows. <laughs> Hunting points. <laughs> so far, Everybody on the course has been extremely helpful to my ignorance. Now let's get a let's get a read on this bad boy. Oh, I, okay, he's standing up. He's rearing up at me. Oh my gosh, that's a hard shot. Okay, yeah, I did not get. I, I got nothing. 
real bit. So. This is a gnome drinking a beer. And uh, you know what? That is that is a 12. That is as touching regulation 12. Okay. Oh my God, I nailed him. That was one of my best shots of the day. Just release wise, it felt, felt juicy. Yeah, we 12 him. We 12 him, baby. What's up? What's up? You ain't got nothing on me. Bam! That's a 10. Mm. All right, guys, we have officially completed our first course. Now, I did not, I did not submit it because I didn't even find one of the targets. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Real hunting situation, I would have just completely missed a giant deer walking out. Uh, and I scored a 169, so averaging 8.45 on the course, 70% effectiveness. Uh, and for me, shooting no peep and getting in the vitals for most of those shots, uh, you know, the vast majority of those shots, felt pretty good. So it was a nice little, little confidence booster, you know, shooting hills, shooting a lot of brush, real hunting situations. They weren't real looking animals, but it was real type situations, um, especially if you're doing spot and stock. So I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to uh, go float around, just say hi to people, just met some, some fishing freaks on their honeymoon, hanging out up here, doing a little cave exploring. Just really cool, man. This, this has been a, a, a super cool, fun event. Uh, and it's, it's a great way for me to test my skills a little bit too, which getting a little confidence boost, not gonna lie. Feel good after that first run. All right guys, exotic course was fun. Went back, kind of rested, got a little lunch. Now I'm going for the Western course, official scorecard. See if I can not lose any arrows. Met some people on the way up. They said there's some, there's some nasty ones, good shooters that lost arrows, so. I think we juice potted that one. Oh, it certainly looked beautiful. outside of it two I got a 10 okay all right wish I could have done that four years ago in Colorado oh, shoot oh oh no oh this one goes different and then there's a negative five if you miss that's a giant giant moose guys this is the biggest target I've ever shot at <sighs> oh shot him in the shoulder learn your lesson you buffoon i think in real life this would have been straight up shoulder there's our 12 there's our 10. all right number five look at the shot between the trees and then you got a, a chesty frontal. I think I see the black ring. This is a toughie. It's I'm rushing my shots. Look how small the target is. Gotta get my score up, man. Makes me want to come back and do this tomorrow. Refreshed. But this is realistic, man. Get one shot. Got to take your time. Mm. Smoked his butt. At least got a 10. Oops, heard an arrow hit a tree. Hearing a lot of arrows hit trees on this particular course. So shooting right here and you gotta go through this. 
arrow's got to weave between this tree and this blue tape on this tree. And it was tight. It was only like, I don't know, eight inches wide. And then we've got the cat. Look at this. Look at this 12 unit right here. Boys, we're back in the game. Okay, next scenario. Station number seven looks like a timber wolf. 44 yard timber wolf. I think we spanked him. Good little poke. The nice thing is the sun was just shining right on this this target so I could see it really good. It's all lit up. But that's a nice thing about shooting both eyes open, no pee. So I, I get a nice clear view of what I'm looking at. Laser focused right at the end. Oh, boys, we're close to it. Oh, 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 double 12Es. Double 12Es, 44 yarder. That's a juicy. Pretty, pretty proud about those last two shots. Took my time, settled in, let her fly. Last one was a 10. We're walking up on a juicy, a juicy little piglet. Oh, and it's gonna be a, a dirty dozen. Got the 12 on that one. 24 yarder. Doesn't look that hard. I couldn't even see the red to be honest with you. But here's what was super tough. To show you the the perspective where you had to stand. You had to shoot right above this log, essentially. It was really risky to go for that 12 ring low. 12, 12, 10, 12. Let's freaking go. Oh, we got to shoot through brush. All right. Tin ring is a little high, but you have, oh my gosh. I wish I had my long lens so you guys could see this. There's, there's leaves over the tin. So it's like you want to almost aim for the 12 or just go through the leaves and hope you get through and get a good clean shot on the tin. I don't think I hit the 12. I was on I was on the path, but I went a little right. No, I did. I think I touched it. Oh my god. Can't believe I flubbed that up. Try to go for gold, get the 12. What do we got here? A big juicy bear. Oh, and at 12 ring, you can actually see with the naked eye. I'm tempted to just go for the, not the guaranteed 10, but the more assured 10. Screw it, boys. No, we're not. We're going 12 or nothing. Got to send a laser beam. Went for broke. Got that 12 -y. Oh, we 12 him, boys. Oh my gosh, we almost center punch 12 him. Woof! Thing is in the daggum tree, though. Look at this doozy of a shot right here. This is, this could bust up an arrow. It's gonna take a little kahunas. So you gotta line up right here, shooting from these these guys. And you gotta fly through here. So I almost hit this. Go right of that tree. Go just over this. Oh man, I think we're touching the 12. Oh, no, we're not. We're we're so dang close though. Alright, that puts us, we only got six more left. I've had some flubs, but I've also had some, some miracle shots. Let's keep trucking, see if we can finish strong. 
Oh, we just nailed the juice, juice. Big boar, you're going down. That's as dead as a doorknob. Oh, I just barely squeaked the tin. Okay, this is the last shot, and it is, I think, a two yarder. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know where to really aim. I don't think if I put my toy, I think I'm gonna aim high, so I'm just gonna kinda trad bow this thing. And we got him. I didn't even look at my peep or my uh, my sight. We just went on feel. So my shooting day is done. Let's just say um, we struggled a little bit. So I, I had a lot of learning lessons and I'm glad I ran into people on the course. So, you know, I shot most of it uh, by myself. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna shoot with a group that I met with today and it's just more fun to shoot in a group and you know there's you just figure out things a lot better but what i didn't know first time shooting this competition some of you may be laughing at me for the western course it went from 12 you had a 12 ring then you had a 10 ring vitals and then it if you got outside of that and hit body that's a negative five and you could take a zero by just completely walking by the target not even shooting an arrow and that's probably what I should have done on a couple of them, but I did manage to smoke a few 12s and that felt nice. All right, y'all, we're gonna end it where we started up here at the top of the hill. Learned some things today, had my first, um, first experience on paper shooting competition. I will definitely be doing this again because it's a lot of fun. Everyone that comes to one of these things um, is, is humbled by the bow, the archery experience. So I haven't met anybody that's like cocky and, you know, look at me. Everybody's been very humble, very nice. So really cool event, Botex put on. And um, I think they're doing quite a few of these around, around the country now. So uh, go check them out if you, uh, if you wanna get signed up. If you have a Botex bow, um, the first day of the event is just Botex owners and then the rest is, is wide open to the public. Stay tuned because we are heading to the beach to go meet LFD, OSG, the rest of the fam. The kids are coming. Full dangle experience on the beach. Hopefully catching some reds, sharks, putting things on the grill. Y'all stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.